guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to the DIY Designer. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you've never uh, been to this channel, my name's Orly Shani. I am your host on this uh, DIY adventure. If you guys like what you see, I really hope you subscribe. I do fun projects every week, really cool, attainable, accessible fashion. And I'm all up in those comments. So if you guys end up deciding you're gonna do a project and need me a little bit of help, I am here to help you. But today's project is perfect for the summertime, perfect for vacation. We're gonna be making these really cool rep pants. These things are so fun. You can make them wide leg or sort of more thin so that they open up in the front. You can make them a bunch of different styles, high-waisted, low-waisted. They can be completely custom to your body and your style, which is really fun. And when you see the pattern for this thing, you're gonna be like, Whoa. How? What? How? I did that almost exactly the same. I'm impressed. I am impressed with myself. Um, it's really cool. It's basically, you cut a U shape out and then that's it. It's really bizarre, it's really crazy. Let's get into materials so we can do the damn thing. There's only a couple of measurements that you guys need to think about. The first one is your length. So just put your measuring tape where you want your pants to start, know where that is, look how far down on the floor that is, or measure a pair of pants that you already own. Now you also need a crotchal region measurement. Um, and you're basically going to take your measuring tape, put it in between your legs, and decide how high up you want that to go. Once you have the measurement, grab it in the back, look at the number and divide it by two, because we only actually need to know when we're cutting what half that measurement is. The next measurement is going to be your waist measurement. Let's say you want that back piece to overlap with a gap about this. You want this open, then 21 is gonna be your measurement. If you want it to overlap even more where it almost touches in the middle, then 27 is gonna be your measurement. So take the measurement around your waist to know how much overlap you actually want, and then that's gonna be the waist measurement we'll work off. So take your fabric and fold it face to face. My fabric was wide enough that I was able to fold it lengthwise so that I actually got to save a lot of fabric. If yours isn't, you're gonna fold it the other way. Start off with your length measurement. At first I wanted my floor length, so these are about 50 inches long. Cut it off so that you have the full length of your fabric. Now, you're gonna need to cut this fabric in half right down the fold because you need a right and a left leg that are perfectly even. Fold it in half so that you can cut the U shape all at once. This is when you create that measurement. Take the measuring tape, put it under your legs, check how high-waisted you want. Once you get that number, you wanna divide it by two. So my measurement was 28, which gives me a 14-inch crotch measurement. I put a pin there just so I know exactly where it is. And now this was pretty universal, about five to six inches wide at the top of the U. Pin everything in place so it won't move on you when you cut, and you're just basically going to connect that bottom line to the top, creating a nice, clean, simple U shape. This is literally like the whole pattern. All right, so I know that that looks really bizarre and it's hard to tell what anything is. Fabric with a U cut out of it. This is one leg. That's your crotchal region and it's going to overlap like this. And so when I sew the two U's together, that becomes my crotch seam and then the other side is my other leg. So now you wanna take your two U's and lay them down face to face or right sides together. Pin the U shape so that everything is nice and even and we're just going to stitch that U shaped close. This is when the pants really start to come together. If you have a serger, I would really recommend using it. All right, so I sewed the U closed. Now if you open it, you can see that's the front seam. So that U shape wraps underneath. Now I decided to give myself this pressed baby hem so that when I really sewed it, I would end up with really nice, clean, finished edges and no fraying at all. So I'm using my iron to fold down about a quarter inch and then when I fold it over again, you can see how nice and clean and crisp all those seams are. Now when it came to the waistband, I was gonna give myself like a nice big one inch waistband and I realized too late that it would have been a lot smarter to cut the straps for my waistband and sew it all in at the same time. I didn't think of that, so I sort of do it in two separate steps. If I could do it all over again, I'd recommend doing that at once. But I didn't, so here I'm just obviously stitching down that waistband. Now it's time to cut those straps. So you wanna cut them about twice as wide as you actually want them, plus seam allowance. I knew I wanted a two inch strap, so I cut them four and a quarter inches wide. 
Now, when you take that strap, you're just going to fold it face to face again and pin it in place. And we're just going to do a simple straight stitch all the way down the side. To flip it inside out, just put a safety pin on the end of your strap, push the safety pin inside of the strap and start like scrunching it against the safety pin. And it'll allow you to flip the entire thing inside out just like that. So just flip the whole thing inside out. And when you get to the very end, you want to make sure that you press everything so that you have like a nice crisp belt look. This is the end. And so I decided to fold in those little edges and just stitch it down so that again, it had a nice clean edge to it. Now this is one long strap, much longer than I need. So I decided to cut it in half and this will be the right and left side of my front strap. Again, like I said, obviously you would be putting this in and then folding your waistband over it so that everything is getting sewn at the same time. But if you decide not to do that, you're just going to stitch right there along your existing seam. All right, so I am just trimming all of the loose threads. Our ties are sewn into both the front and the back waistband. We folded down the waistband, folded off our side seam so everything's nice and clean. I'm gonna show you how you actually get into that. All right guys, so here it is. This bizarre tent looking thing is our pants. So <laughs> take the front and line it up wherever, however high waisted as you decided, you know, based off your pattern and tie it in the back. Now, reach through and grab the straps on the other side. Find your straps and you wanna line it up so that it's at the right height. And now, tie it in the front. Very quickly, I wanna show you the difference between the black pants, which you'll see in a minute, and the linen pants. So the linen pants, because I made them more narrow, right there about mid-thigh, they sort of split open and have like a thigh-high slit, which is really cool, but a little more specific. If you want fuller coverage like the black pants, it's up here in the pattern. Right here on the other side of the U-shape, the waist measurement needs to get bigger. It'll get bigger on top, but also all the way down. So tell me straight up, uh 